Hello everybody, it is Jack here, your local vegan mate. Here I am today for another vegan friendly grocery haul. Just been the Woolies, just been the Aldi and my fruit and veg shop and I am so keen to show you some of the great finds that I found in this monthly grocery haul, this monthly vegan grocery haul for our family of four vegans so there is my wife myself and our two young boys who are four and three so if this is your first time watching this video we spend about 250 dollars at this monthly haul and then we also spend about 200 dollars at a monthly haul on costco that you can also check out this month's one and then for the remainder of the month we spend about 70 80 dollars on little top up items like fresh fruit and veg and then any other items that we are running out of so this may be a great way for you to discover how vegan shop and some vegan friendly items that you may not have realized were vegan friendly anyway i have a handful of great new items that i want to show you guys today so let's get into this haul right away So here we go guys, this is the massive monthly grocery haul. I've been shafted into the sunroom for the time being, I'm getting some renovations done, so I've been shafted out the back, but you know, it's still all the same. I can still spread it all out and talk to you guys about some of these great new items that we purchased and check it out. That is our monthly haul. So let's get into this straight away. Down at Audi, I cannot contain myself with some of these new items that I have found from Urban Eats available at Audi. Look at these. How awesome is this? So these are vegan friendly, very cheap as well. Only a couple bucks. So definitely keen to try these out. I haven't seen them before, so they are new. And Urban Eats is actually one of the regular brands. So I'm pretty confident that this will be a regular item in store. Also this one, this is a regular brand as well, Utopia, but they have it vegan friendly. Look at this, ice creams on a stick, dairy free almond and dairy free vanilla. It says vegan on the box. So if you guys weren't aware, Aldi actually do you know source from bigger brands big big label brands and then just rebrand them for a cheaper price so i am quite confident to say that these are probably actually the same as the magnum ones that you can purchase suitable for vegans definitely keen to try these out and really cost effective compared to other vegan friendly ice creams on the market i'm here as well i'm not too sure if you guys know but this is actually vegan friendly extra butter flavor so i've got two of them a bit cheaper than what you can get from woolies and coles which are also vegan friendly not much cheaper but you know i thought i'd try these out for my normal regular woolies ones see how much they compare like butter flavor compared to the ones from woolies so we've got one two and three of the meat-free sausages. You know, really easy to cook up, great tasting, and great value as well. The kids love them. And also now it says vegan on the packet. Makes it a lot easier to understand that they are vegan friendly. Down here, just two cans of the organic tomato paste. Great value there. Chuck it into some sauce bases. Very easy to whip up some delicious sauces using the tomato paste. Same with the coconut milk. Just two cans of the coconut milk. Use that into making a lot of sauce bases and make a delicious creamy mushroom pies using the coconut milk. So that is very delicious. Olives, two jars of the olives. Our kids love olives. They could eat this whole jar themselves, I reckon, as a little snack. They love olives. I don't know where they got the love from the olives from because my wife and I are not huge olive eaters, but you know, they love them nevertheless, so we'll keep that up. Olives are really great for you as well, so that is great value there. Just some rolled oats. You know, we make up some like little healthy kind of raw treats using the rolled oats. The boys have rolled oats for breakfast every second day. They alternate it with the wheat bix. So that is really great value there. Two packets of the lasagna sheets. So really great value from Audi. But what I'm actually gonna do, I'm actually gonna try to attempt some like ravioli, like a vegan ravioli with some vegan cheese. I got some cheese from the vegan dairy. Um, what I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna soften the 
the lasagna sheets and kind of wrap the cheese with the lasagna sheets and kind of make some ravioli. So that is going to be a little bit of an experiment. Hope it turns out all right. Over here as well, waffle cones. I've been making up a bunch of banana ice cream. We still have some frozen banana in our freezer. So, you know, if you did not know, just freeze up your banana. Once it's a little bit semi kind of frozen, then chuck it in a blender and then eventually it'll go into a creamy and very delicious ice cream. But we've been doing that lately rather than buying actual vegan ice creams. But on the over here, as you can see, suitable for vegetarians and vegans. So Audi is a great store that has that label on a lot of their products. So it makes it a lot easier for you to understand what is vegan friendly. And then just over here, just some salted peanuts as a little snack. So this all came in at about $50, I'm pretty sure. So not too bad. Quickly over here, just our fruit and veg, a little top up fruit and veg here. About 40 bucks, can you believe this? I've got a bunch of broccoli in there. Mushrooms, strawberries, blueberries, capsicum, bananas, potatoes, mandies, avos, cherry tomatoes, zucchinis, and watermelon. And that came $40 at our local fruit and veg shop. Cheaper at a fruit and veg market if you have one available near you, so definitely recommend checking that out as well. Oh, look at this, cos lettuce and eggplant as well. Anyway, I want to get straight into this Woolies haul to tell you guys some of the items that I have purchased, so let's go from the front. So we've got the meat-free 4 and 20 pies here. These are great to have in the freezer. Some people don't like them for whatever reason. I do find them to be one of the better vegan pies out there on the market. Very convenient to have in the freezer, especially with kids, you know, quick, easy. Chuck in these in the oven, chuck on some veg, you know, you have a quick and easy meal there. These were on special as well. So it was really great value when they're on special. I'm not 100% sure off the top of my head who recommended it, but a little tip if you do Woolies online or check your prices online, create a list of purchase when on special. Chuck in the items that you wanna purchase when they're on special. You know, vegan items are generally quite expensive. Generally these are $9, but when they're on special, $7.50, great value. So create a list of the vegan items that you love, and then when they're on special, you know, you can go to that list and see if they're on special and chuck them in your basket. It's such a great idea. It's hard to keep track of what is on special, so that is a really great idea. I can't remember who mentioned it in the comments. It is an absolute lifesaver for me because a lot of the vegan items are quite expensive, but they do go on special. So when they are on special, it does make it more affordable. So that is a great item and that is a great tip for you guys to do as well. Anyway, got the Nicola plant-based passion fruit yogurt. The kids love the yogurt, so you know, one side will probably last us a couple weeks there. This one I have never tried before, but I have heard some really great reports about the patties, vegan-friendly rolls. So chickpea, spinach, and caramelized onion, they look delicious, 12 pieces in there. These were half price as well, so that was definitely something that I was not gonna give up the opportunity to try. Couple cans of my lentils over here, couple cans of black beans, loving black beans at the moment, and my favorite up here, four cans of the chickpeas. You cannot go wrong with chickpeas. And over here though, I have two cans of the young jackfruit. This brand of jackfruit is probably the best jackfruit that I have tried. Very easy to cook with. You can make up some pulled pork. You can make up like little chicken textures with it. It is such a versatile ingredient. It is all about the sauce and the marinade that you do with this. So what I am actually gonna make, probably in a couple of days, I'm gonna make a jackfruit salflaki. So what I generally do with just this, break it all apart, chuck it on an oven dish, season it with salt and pepper and then a bunch of garlic chuck it in the oven for about half an hour until it crisps up and then you have a great kind of like i don't know like a very good textured you know meat that you can put into your savlaki so i'm going to do some savlakis using that this week i'm here just some olive oil great value olive oil there over here a vegetarian oyster sauce so i make a lot of different asian meals using the vegetarian oyster sauce but little did you know over here, look at that, vegan, vegan tick. So a lot of people may not have known that that is vegan friendly. The Woolworths Essentials garlic bread is vegan friendly and very delicious as well. The Mussels stock cubes, veggie stock cubes, vegan friendly, very, very flavorsome. 
the entire range of Massel stock cubes, liquid stock are all vegan friendly as well, even the beef one. So definitely check them out. Great flavors there. Over here, just a couple packets of the Steakhouse chips. Good value there. Over here, some Vita soy, soy milky. Two liters of the soy milky, a long life one. Chuck it in the cupboard, handy to have on hand. Just some udon noodles, great to have as a little side dish, you know, with some of the Asian meals that I'm doing. Over here, some silken tofu. So what I'm actually gonna do with the silken tofu, I'm gonna actually make a vegan friendly tzatziki using this. Really great tasting and so easy to make. So I'm gonna chuck that with the, the jackfruit savlakis. Also with the jackfruit savlakis, I'm gonna get the pita bread, make up the savlakis, a bunch of savlakis. I love savlakis and making them are very delicious. So over here, we've just got a couple packets of the penne pasta here and the spaghetti pasta. I am really having trouble finding pulse pasta at the moment. So I've just purchased the Woolworths essential pasta for now. Over here, back with the the savlakis, I'm also going to use the Fable a braised beef, great tasting braised beef here. Um, very delicious as a savlaki filling as well. So I'm just going to use that. Kind of marinate it similar to the jackfruit. Marinate a little bit, flavors, salt and pepper, garlic. Chuck that in the oven to crisp it up a little bit and have that as a filling. Over here, so if you did not know, these are vegan friendly as well. The kids love jelly it's kind of like a little novelty item the purchase but little jelly cups in there all vegan friendly and really great price as well and this one i don't know if you saw my recent video about vegan friendly cookies but this one is now vegan friendly whiz fizz um hot halloween is coming up very soon so just got a packet of whiz fizz just in case we get any door knockers I mean, with the stage four lockdown in Melbourne at the moment, I doubt many people will be walking the streets at the moment. Some bagels, some vegan friendly bagels here. I'm loving the bagels at the moment. If it was up to me and if I could afford to purchase these more often, I would have a bagel every morning, I'll be honest. But these are great. Get some cream cheese, make up some vegan salmon. They are handy to have there. Just some of the risotto rice as well. Make up delicious, like a pumpkin risotto. Mushroom risotto, very versatile and very easy to cook up risotto with this rice. And you know, this is my shame. I'll admit it. Four boxes of the soy cappuccino. Really great value though. I was probably spending, you know, maybe five, ten dollars a day on coffees from cafes. These are so convenient for me now. Just easy satchels, really great tasting, really creamy as well, and froths up really well. I know some people don't like them, but I do very much so enjoy them. But there you go, that was our Woolies haul. I'm pretty sure it came in around $110, I'm pretty sure, so not too bad. All up there, but look at all this stuff, guys. I am so excited to put all this away and try this over the next couple of days. Some exciting new items down here from Audi that I am so keen to get into. So definitely, definitely, I can't wait to try them. But there we go, guys. That was our monthly grocery haul. That was our monthly grocery haul. I am so excited by that haul. There was some amazing new vegan friendly items in Audi that I am so excited to try. But it is so exciting that Audi are branching out and building up their vegan friendly ranges. And they are a bit more affordable than your bigger brand vegan items that are available at Woolies and Coles and all that sort of stuff. So it is great to have those options if you are a bit more price conscious. Anyway, that is our monthly grocery haul this month. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found some great new items that you can purchase for yourself. And if you enjoyed this video, chuck it a like, share it around, comment below of your vegan finds, recent vegan finds at Woolies, Aldi. And I'll be definitely keen to check them out at my next time I go to those stores. And as always, chuck this video, subscribe to stay up to date with more grocery hauls like this one. I go to grocery haul at Costco as well. And I do food reviews and I do a much, much more vegan lifestyle content to keep you guys all informed of the great new vegan friendly items that are available in Australia. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, but until next time, I will catch you all very soon.